I'm Pat Turner with SAMissions.com and today we're in Phoenix, Arizona, the spring training headquarters of the San Diego Padres and we are with the missions coaching staff. staff again. We're with manager Jamie Quirk, pitching coach Jimmy Jones and new hitting coach Morgan Burkhart. First off, JJ, welcome back to San Antonio. Thank you. Morgan and Jamie, welcome to San Antonio. Pleasure. Thank you. Good to have you. And first off, we'd like to have a, a bio on all three of you, just briefly. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you came from, your careers. Well, okay, I'll start. Uh, I signed in 1972 out of high school in Whittier, California with the Kansas City Royals organization. Um, played all the way through. Uh, my last year as a player was 1992 uh, with the Oakland Athletics. Um, uh, signed as a shortstop, ended up my career as a catcher. and. Uh, um, Went into coaching right after that. It started off, uh, my first major league coaching job was with uh, the Royals as a bullpen coach. And then I went uh, a couple years there and then five years as a bench coach. And I went to Colorado as a bench coach there. Uh, on to Houston for a couple years, bullpen coach in Houston and Chicago Cubs uh, before I came here last year to San Diego and managed in Lake Elsinore. Uh, from St. Louis, uh, grew up in the area, kind of remain in the area. Uh, started playing, signed in the Boston Red Sox organization. Spent a little time there, a little time in, a, in the Kansas City organization a year in Japan. Got into coaching, coaching independent ball for years, and uh, got a shot here. And this is my third year in the Padre organization. Uh, from Dallas, Texas, uh, drafted in 1982 out of high school. Um, played until 1993 here in the States, uh, played two years in Japan and Tokyo, started coaching in 09 with the Padres, uh, started off in rookie ball, then went to San Antonio, uh, was the interim bullpen coach in 2012 with San Diego, and been uh, with San Antonio since. Great. Now this is your first time to work together, right? Yes. Uh like I said, I was in Elsinore last year. Morgan was in Fort Wayne, and JJ's been with uh, the missions for what five or five six years. years. Oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, years. Okay. So they, they put us all together this year. Right. How do you develop that chemistry with your coaching staff when you'll never work together? How do you develop it? And uh, well, that, that spring training mm -hmm. for us. I mean, that's uh, you know we've been here. We've been here about six weeks already. You know, we've been with the major league camp, and and we've been mm -hmm. here. And, it, which has been great because, like you said, we have not worked together and we get to know personalities in each other. And uh, I think we're all ready to go. I think we've uh, we've bonded pretty good. Good. What's impressed you about these two so far? I don't know yet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, work ethic. It, you know, they're all in. You can tell they're baseball people, like we all are, and it's fun to uh, to talk ball with them. We get in some nice pitcher hitter arguments, which is what you do in baseball. And, no one has it figured out. We're all still trying to figure it out and how we're going to pass it along to the kids and make them better. Great. Morgan, you've had an interesting career. Uh, I believe you in major leagues, you uh, played in Mexico and coached, managed in independent ball. How has all of that helped you become an effective coach where you can help these kids at the double A? Uh, I think just seeing things done in different ways. I mean, Japan was probably different, uh, Mexico a little different. Seen a different, a lot of different levels. Seen evolved as a player, and, that, and now coaching in some different areas. Just taking a little bit of all that in and putting it all together, and hopefully I'm smart enough to try to see what works and, and what you can use here and there, and to try to get the best out of guys. I think that's the most important part of it. Right. How do you get the best out of guys? How do you motivate players to maybe take it to that next level? Well, I think that depends on the guy. I mean, you got to find out what what makes that guy tick. Uh, First, first of all, find out what he needs, probably, what he needs to do, uh, figure that out, and then the best, the biggest part of coaching is to figure out how you can relate to that player and get your message across where he needs to hear it, whether it's firm or, or uh, lay him back a little bit, but just get it to him where, put him in the best possible position to succeed once he, once you do that, I mean, you know, it's up to him to get the job done. Right, and will your uh, philosophy at this level, hitting philosophy change, or is it the same approach? Uh, I think, or? I mean, it, I don't think there's one philosophy that can go through any part of the game. I mean, you got to develop guys and teach it in his own way and, and just work off that. Right. JJ, you've been here, what, five years? Or what it you've been just been my 50th. Uh -huh. This 
What makes you to say at this level? Why do you enjoy being a double A? Well, I get to go home <laughs> you know, when yeah. we go to Frisco. Uh, right. But it's also a good level. It's a transitional level. You have guys coming up from A ball. Um, they all have good stuff, and it's just getting them to understand what they're, what they need to do to try to be more consistent to get the next level. Or you have your kind of holdover guys that you know they, they just kind of hit a ceiling, and maybe they need to develop something differently. Maybe it's a little bit different approach, or even it might even be another pitch, um, or even a different slot. It could be it could be you know several different things. So it's a good transitional level where where these guys are just kind of finding out how good they really are. And uh, and then there's other guys like like Morgan said. There you, you got to approach each guy differently. And so there's some guys that think they've already arrived. And so you almost have to kind of, you know, treat them a little bit differently. And they're going to they're gonna have that time where they're going to ask those questions because, you know, they're going to they're gonna scuff a little bit at some point. Exactly. So it's a good transition uh, uh, level. Exactly. I've talked to several pitchers in the past who have worked with you and they've really complimented on you how you, you prepared them. How do you connect with your pitchers? Is there any special way you try to make that connection? Well, staying positive, first of all, but also stating the obvious, you know, with a straight face. You know, not, you know, you, you, you don't want to lie to them. You know, you want to tell them what they need to hear. Some of them don't believe it at the time, but you want you want to be able to, to, to keep them positive because that, that confidence is fragile. And so if, if, you, if you, you know, affirm, confirm, all that other good stuff, and, and then, like I said, state the obvious. To just tell them, hey, this is, this is going to work. This isn't going to work. Let's go from here and see what we need to do to prepare to get you, you know, rolling. Great. So. Great. And now that you, the most important question, now that you've been here the longest, what would you recommend for these guys to do in San Antonio, like place to eat or whatever? Oh, I don't <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, I normally just eat at the field. I, I like Mitierra's downtown because it stays open 24 hours a day, yeah. first of all. But, it's also good food. I love Mexican food. I think, Jamie, you've, you've had puppy, puppy, puppy taco, right? You have done the puppy tacos. Right? Yes, I went to lunch there with the crew when I came into San Antonio. I, I will go back. That was a, it was a good little meal. All I right. liked it. Have you been down the river walk yet? I have. Okay. Uh, very briefly with Mickey and Rich. They brought me down there and showed me around a little bit. and uh, That's where I plan on trying to find a place to stay and uh, take advantage of San Antonio. I keep hearing about the river walk, so I want to... I want to get involved. Good. Morgan, first time in San Antonio? No, I've been there. I uh, went to school at Texas State for a year, so I've been down there mm -hmm. plenty. Really? Okay. So you probably played St. Mary's or whoever? Or? Yeah, we kind of. I, I, I don't know. It was a while ago. <laughs> you know, been in that area playing and then you know, took a lot of trips down there, not too far. Well, good. Well, thank you guys, and we're looking forward to working with you this year. All right, Thank you. you. You bet.